Hugging. Brain Implant. Will Smith. Nipple Knuckles. Dan, go ahead. Yes, episode 88 of Is It yeah! Joe Pace, I'm Dan Cummins. Uh, so much fun. Yeah! So, we had a lot of fun store for you today. Yeah! Yay! We talked about being excited and pumped <laughs> up for the show. Exactly. Because it's it's contagious. It's contagious. And fun. Fun. This fun. Is the best episode you've ever heard. Oh, my God. <laughs> episode 88 is fun, though. You can, you can upside down. <laughs> if it's sideways, it's like two guys with sunglasses on. Cool, cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm, two cool guys. I love numbers. Yeah? yeah. You're a number guy. You're a numbers You're a math guy. <laughs> Uh, okay, episode 88 <laughs> of Is We Dumb. Before we get into today's show, we do have a couple different merch items mm. to announce, both stemming from uh, some jokes that, in the industry, we would say, hit. Hit. They hit. They landed. They landed, and people accepted them, <laughs> uh, and now we're, hopefully they'll accept these on their chest. Okay. You get it. Uh, yeah. All right, so we have one. I'm trying to remember what they are. Oh. Which is oh. Score, oh, yeah. the candy bar. Yep. Uh, but You've it got says so dumb. many of those. Dude. So many. A, a base, a, a, at least, uh, probably 500. That's crazy. 500 Score candy bars. Just because I on a, on a on a little quip, I was like, ah, these are probably discontinued. And then the whole rest <laughs> nope. of the world's like, you no, all, you're, you're dumb. You have all the remaining Score candy bars. It was... Um, Genius plan by me. Yeah, yeah. I have endless score candy bars. Next Halloween, yeah, steal candy bars for the entire oh my neighborhood. God. That would be pretty funny just to only have because I, I bet so many kids would be like, "What is this?" <laughs> right. Just nothing but score candy bars. Uh, Do you have I, anything else? Yeah, more candy, more scores. Yeah, you want five? You want five? You want five? Look, they open it up like I have a couch made of score candy bars. <laughs> yeah, fucking take the armrest. I don't care. Throw pillows. Open the throw. Take them. <laughs> it's like got a Willy Wonka shit. Open the throw pillows. Like what? <laughs> they open up. Yes. More yes. score candy bars. You give them a pinata. <laughs> so they, when they're home, they can just break it up and just nothing but score candy bars. But the outside is also made of score candy bars. <laughs> <laughs> it's made of the wrappers. They have to hit it with a baseball bat. <laughs> Made of score candy bars. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so it says deliciously dumb comedy underneath the score candy bar logo that says dumb, nice. which is great. Wonderful. Uh, other shirt that we're releasing. Wake up. It says wake up. There's a gas leak. There's a gas leak. <laughs> <laughs> and um, God, I'm, I'm so happy people love that. Because while we were laughing about it in the studio, <laughs> yeah, it was the really only time shirt. that we've had a joke. I was like, I, I know this is going to be a moment. Yeah. That that one, I was like, I hope other people think this is funny yeah, yeah, as please, we did. please please Th- that is I'm just so, so funny well and then somebody just sent in a really funny illustration that you mm-hmm. caught and passed along to yep. logan for um for the socials right but yeah so funny so and logan good. did a great job on that uh on that t-shirt design too I know. wake up wake up there's a gas leak <laughs> it, it, i don't even care he doesn't have to have a stop sign face that is just a scary thing to say to anybody right it's right just, wake that's up. a terrible way you to wake, wake up. up we gotta wake up there's gotta a gas wake. leak right Dude, <laughs> can I smell it? You can't. Oh my god! You can't on purpose. Start saying that to somebody who's super high. Oh, terrible! That would ruin their whole trip. <laughs> Imagine you. Yeah. Hold on. Let's yeah. put you back at the Tool concert. Oh my god! If Joe Eschenbach <laughs> would have leaned in and said, "Like you got to wake up. There's a gas leak." <laughs> I would have. Where? I would have freaked. Everywhere. I would have freaked the fuck out. I would have started like screaming. I would have. I, I would have been. You guys. I would have been carried out of there by EMTs. You spin in circles. You guys. You guys. You guys. There's a fucking gas leak. You gotta wake me up. <laughs> you gotta wake me up. There's a fucking gas leak. <laughs> Can you um, imagine seeing somebody do that next to you at a concert too? It's like, holy <laughs> shit. I'm like, damn. They're losing their mind. But kind of like, is yeah, there? That's, yeah. Is there? <laughs> right? Oh my God. Is, are we all sleeping? <laughs> oh my God. I, I, I kind of remember. <laughs> Am I sleeping? Did I have breakfast? I remember having breakfast and lunch, but I don't remember getting here. <laughs> Am I sleeping? Am I still back at the at the lunch spot? <laughs> or your kid. Your kid who's just old enough to know what that means. Maybe they just learned about gas leaks at school. Mm-hmm. And then when they've already woken up and they're still kind of groggy in bed, just shake them like, you got to wake up, buddy. Right. There's a gas leak. And then just walk out of the room. The best alarm clock. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dad. Dad. And then, but then not respond. Talk <laughs> about. What's happening? Talk about crying wolf. And the one time there is a gas That'd be leak. Terrible. He's That'd like, be terrible. He's like, get the fuck get out, out of here. Get out of here. I'm having a dream. Like, no, I'm serious. No, this is time to Come get on. Get the fuck up. There's a fucking. Okay. Anyway. Ah, get out of here. I know it's late start today. <laughs> I'm not getting up for school, Dad. Fuck you. God, there's so many fucking crazy things you can do to people. Um, <laughs> you, I want now. I'm just thinking of like you dub that into songs, like just oh, right. m- take an existing song and then just mix wake just up. that in there. Yeah, <laughs> wake up and then just there's a gas leak. Gotta get out of the house. Like sneak that into the track, but behind like a mm-hmm, wake up, 
Dig-a, dig-a. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a gas leak. Dig-a, dig-a. <laughs> and then just don't acknowledge it. Like just have it playing to your like home stereo. Right. And then you pretend you don't hear it. Like what? No. What? No way. Right, man, I'm, fu- I'm fucking freaking out. So that, okay. <laughs> and you start getting a little like little woozy. Yeah. And like you're you're talking to your kids and your family, but you're leaning on like the wall. You're like, oh my god, I'm feeling a little sleepy. I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna lay down. I'm gonna go lay down. You guys keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I just feel really tired. Oh you're my. like falling up the staircase. Like, oh my god, <laughs> there's a fucking gas leak. Fucking gas leak. <laughs> if you really wanted to fuck with somebody, this might be a friendship ender. <laughs> but like, you give them okay. Like, you're, you're doing shrooms. Dude. You're doing shrooms, but you don't take hallucinogenic. You t- get some kind of fucking. You take decoy. regular mushrooms. You take regular mushrooms, like you ones you get on a pizza. Fucking morel <laughs> mushrooms, whatever they are. <laughs> but somehow, if you could like sneak it, so you're not taking anything. Yeah, they're high as fuck on shrooms. And then, or you know, any other kind of like hallucinogen, but then you mix, you have it mixed into the song. So first off, they're hearing it in song after song, and then you have another friend somehow with a stop sign fucking <laughs> face, like a, like a, he's made the, and then he shows up. You gotta wake up. It's gas leak. Right, <laughs> dude. That person loses their mind. Worth it. Fuck Worth that it. friendship. Right. Like that is better than anything. Film it. You make a bunch of money, yeah, and then he loses a friend. And I don't think I don't even think it's illegal. <laughs> it can't be. It's, there's no way. Right. There's no way it can be illegal to just <laughs> say weird shit to I someone. I declare when high. from this day forward, <laughs> in the state of Idaho, no <laughs> friend, no friend shall have stop sign face <laughs> and claim there's a gas leak. <laughs> here, here, here. <laughs> unanimous, <laughs> right? Unanimous. <laughs> we have all, to stop this. They've all, they've all had it. <laughs> it's out of control. <laughs> so anyway, those two yeah. T-shirts. Head over to iswedumb.com or go to badmagicmerch.com. So we have yeah. who the what fuck on the show today. We have some great articles to get to. We're also going to, to discuss, and we know that we're a couple weeks behind on this. Yeah, because of our recording schedule. Yeah, uh, Will Smith smacked the fuck. Yeah. Out of Chris Rock yeah. at the Oscars. So we're going to talk about that. And then, and then we're, we're going to talk about our one star is going to be the um, people losing their hair oh. and, and upset at Bosley. Okay. So that's always fun. A lot, of, is, lot of extra emotions. There's a lot of, yeah. High stakes. That part of your life. Yep. It's, uh, it is sad. People, they are mad that for $42, <laughs> they didn't get to reverse the course of their genetics. Oh, man. Well, um, bless their heart. Uh, but yeah, that Chris Rock, th- yeah, that, so they, yeah, as we're, as we're recording, it just happened, I don't know, 12 hours ago or mm-hmm. a little bit, a bit of like the night before. And uh, it is it is crazy just thinking about it more, reading different articles. Here here's my take on, uh, and if you haven't, first I don't know how you would have missed this. It's such a big like cultural, got so much you know trending action. Right. But um, you know the history is a couple years ago at the Oscars, Chris Rock uh, took a shot at Jada Smith like not attending the Oscars, and basically some joke about how like well yeah it's easy to attend when you're not invited. <laughs> <laughs> like your career is not on fire, exactly. Mm-hmm. So, like, whatever. But he's made jokes about a lot of people. So there's like that little bit of history, though. And then she has, and I cannot remain, remember the name of the condition. Starts with an A, I believe. Yeah, I alopecia. think so. Is it alopecia? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alope- thank you. Thank you, Logan. Appalachian. A- Appalachia. And uh, and so you know, it's a, a condition that makes your hair fall out. Uh, she still looks beautiful. She looks awesome, but she does not have you know uh, the hair she had. So he makes a yeah. joke. You and me both, buddy. <laughs> right, right, right. Welcome to the club, Jada. <laughs> so uh, he makes a joke about like, can't wait to see you in the new uh, G.I. Jane sequel, right. you yeah. know, about her hair. And I, and I do think, okay. Which also not even that funny. Not even, not a, not a great joke. <laughs> not a great joke. And I can see how like, oh, you're picking on somebody for a condition. So it's a little insensitive for a joke, but also it's like, is it worth, she, she clearly didn't like it. He kind of softened. He was like, oh, come on, this is a soft one. Mm-hmm. He starts to soften it. And then, yeah, and then Will Smith <laughs> gets up, <laughs> walks up on stage, and Chris Rock, I love watching this the video replay where he you can tell he's like, okay, something, this isn't good, right. but I don't know what's going to happen. He held his composure he's so not, well. He's not going to hit me. Right. It's probably he, what Chris Rock he, is He probably thinks he's not going to hit me. Something, what's going to happen, but he's not going to hit me. <laughs> and then he just, without, just so quick, walked straight over to him, hard slap to the face. So I guess it was like a left hand maybe, but like, like hits him hard. Or no, I guess it was a right hand. Right hand. Right hand. Yeah, right hand slap to the face. Pa. Hard. <laughs> 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 I will say Chris Rock took it like a champ. Just knocked back, no even tears in his eyes, just like stunned, but not like uh, didn't um, throw him. Mm-hmm. Will Smith goes back, sits on his face, or sits on his face. <laughs> what the fuck? Will, Will Smith sits on his face, <laughs> makes him suck his balls. And that's where it jumps a shark for me. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> I was thinking of the look on his face, and I want him, I was talking about him sitting down. He sits <laughs> on his face. He sits on his face. He, tea ba- he chokes him with his tea bag. And that'll teach him. <laughs> and all deserved. All fair. All fair. It's a rim job. 
He rim jobs. <laughs> is it forced? Yes, it's forced. It's forced, yes. But it's the Oscars. And things happen. <laughs> the slap was the warm-up for the rim job. <laughs> and he didn't leave until Chris tossed a salad, <laughs> which is a throwback to Chris's Chris's old joke about toss salad man. Right. So in the end, it was very funny and clever. <laughs> right. This is a callback. This is a callback. <laughs> it's, a, it's a hardcore callback. It's a fucking classic callback. <laughs> And if you if you pay attention, you pay attention. it made perfect sense. Show me. <laughs> this is show me. That's Hollywood. <laughs> so, so he goes and sits down in his chair. <laughs> yeah. And then um Chris Rock's done. And then and then he just yells at Chris Rock. He's like, take my wife's name out your fucking mouth. And yep. he was like, he was like, okay, man, okay. Take my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Like he really hits it hard mm-hmm. the second time. And then Chris Rock is just like Okay. Right. And and then just pauses and is like, well, I guess this is the greatest night uh, in the history of television or right. something. You know, g- g- goes on for the thing. The, it, it, this fucking, it, what fucking kills me is like, uh, I get Chris Rock not wanting to press charges. He's like, whatever, man, we can deal with this later. We can talk this out. I was upset that, okay, A, I don't agree with Will Smith doing that. Mm-hmm. St- if you want to stand up and be like, uh-uh, like leave her alone on that. That, that'd be a bit much for Oscar's history, but that I could get behind. Mm-hmm. You're, you're defending your wife. But when you come up and it's like, there's also some things like a size. Chris Rock is not a big man. <laughs> sure. Will Smith's pretty big guy, you know? And so it just, you can read a little bit like bully kind of esque. And, and he wasn't continuing to go at Jada. And I, and I just think like deal with it later. But what kills me is that security did not fucking, they should have immediately came over to Will Smith and be like, you got to leave. Mm-hmm. How the fuck does that not got you, get you kicked out? Yeah. The whole world just witnessed a blatant assault, and they're like, no, nah, he gets to sit down, and then he gets to come back up later and give an acceptance speech. <laughs> he should have lost his acceptance speech. He's already won the award. Nope, that moment, when you fucking hit the MC, mm-hmm. he lost that, I yeah. think. Yeah, no, I'm in, this, I'm in the exact same boat. Like I, I agree 100% on every single point that you just made. I think it's, uh, you, you are letting words, like it's yeah. okay, if you get offended by words. <laughs> Yeah. Th- that's fine. And I would have been upset too, probably. Right. If I was him. Right. Yeah, that, but I would like, have. Also, you could have just fucking left. That's true. I didn't even think of you that. You get the fuck out of there. You could get up and leave. I, I know that like his acceptance speech is coming mm. next, but you could also make a big statement by just getting up and fucking leaving. God, that's good. I didn't think of that. Yeah, just get out of there. Yep. And you don't yep. support that. You're still going to make the headlines for walking out and not making your acceptance speech if there was really that right. you know, that important to you. But walking up there and just slapping some dude over saying something <laughs> offensive... Right. It goes back on everything that I stand for. Yeah. Like, and it opened up the door for, I mean, somebody. Think brought, about every, yeah. think about every uh, roast that yeah. has happened. Whether, oh my God. If all they did, like mm-hmm. uh, you roasted, uh, I don't, I don't fucking know, whatever name, put right. in a celebrity name right. and they were offended. They got to walk up and slap the MC. Yeah. That's crazy. After all of it, like that was not that bad. Right. Of thing, of a thing to say. And I think a lot yeah. of it comes back to the turmoil that Will Smith and Jada are That's going through. That's what I think. That's where it's already built up. Mm-hmm. And he, I think, may be trying to uh, be a lot bigger than than usual. I, I think so. He has something to reclaim yep. because of uh, you know some affairs. Yep. Yeah. I, I think uh, Logan and I were talking about that before the show, but it's like, and I, and I didn't really know about that. Mm-hmm. I had heard some kind of whispering, but I just, I don't fucking pay attention to... Will Either Smith. do I, I found yeah, out yeah. after this me happened. Too. Okay, yeah. me too. Yeah, I was like, I don't fucking pay attention to their marriage, but like... I'm not um, waking up in the morning. Oh, like, it's Will Smith and Jada what, what are they doing? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God, they're still rich and famous. Cool. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Oh my God, she liked it, uh, She kissed another dick and, and oh my God, that's that's so crazy. Yeah. My life is different. And but nope. I, Yeah, but I found out, like, like you're saying, that entanglement, as she called it, um, you know, she admitted to having... Well... They say affair, but they were separated is what, is what Will's saying. So, but yeah, but like, um, while still married, they separated and it sounds strongly like, you know, she went and, uh, had an, you know, a relationship with some other guy. And I read that this bothers Will a lot and he has, um, not said anything. He said the right things publicly about, you know, not bothering their marriage and stuff. I don't really buy it. <laughs> and it keeps coming up with interviewers keep teasing them about the entanglement. Mm-hmm. And it did feel like Chris Rock's face. Uh, took the the pent up, took up took up took the pent up anger <laughs> that, uh, of Will being mad about things that had nothing to do with Chris Rock. Moving forward, yeah. If Will Smith just slapped the shit out of everyone, oh my god, who asked something he didn't like, right? Then that's probably a fun life. I don't care oh, what, yeah. what interview it is. I mean, that would be fun. No matter They'll, who it is, no they, repercussions. If they ask a question that he didn't like, or they say something he didn't like, he just walks up and slaps the shit out of him. Oh my god, no problem. Go back to your rich life. And then that's it. How funny would that be if this does kind of open up the gate? It, it, it weirdly sets some sort of legal precedent, 
where because the Academy and Chris didn't sue Will Smith, now it's like some weird fucking loophole. Or yes, he, he's allowed. They could have by now. We well, don't they, know. Yeah, they could have by now. That's we, we live in a weird, a weird day. Where right. this might get so yeah, this could come up later. I think yeah. he has seven years or I don't know, so many years to mm -hmm. press charges. But what if it, I was just like this being completely absurd? What if he doesn't, and then it creates a weird loophole, and somehow Will Smith now has legal precedent <laughs> to slap anybody who insults him or his wife <laughs> with no consequences? God damn, what a life! So everybody on interview, like in interviews, they're really fucking nervous. Hey, Will Smith, you like being yourself? Yeah, I love it. Uh, Okay, all right, good. That, and that's all we got for that's you. That's all we got for you. Uh, your movie looks great. Very excited. <laughs> I watched... Your wife's beautiful. You're very handsome. <laughs> I, have, I haven't seen it, but I heard it's great. So thanks for coming on the show, Will Smith. <laughs> you're handsome and your wife's beautiful and you're the most talented people I've ever seen. Thanks even, for coming on the show. I don't even like hair. <laughs> I hate hair. <laughs> 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 but he's clever, so he starts turning it into like weird a like uh, questions that egg them on. Right. He's like, oh, my favorite Broadway play is hair. And he's, they're like, fuck. Will Smith gets his fucking <laughs> hand up. He's on the edge every time he starts to go there. But it was a little long for me. He puts his hand back down. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> every, everything he brings up, it's fucking back. He flinches. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ Will. <laughs> <laughs> so we sit uh, in the same boat on that topic. There's just yeah. so many alter, like alternatives that he could have done. Yeah. He could, I, I don't even care if he got as far as walking up the fucking stairs. Right. And then just stop and point. Yeah. Like you keep my wife's name out of your mouth, right? And then turn around and get back off. That's a, I mean, yep. still too much, still too much. But I think people would not like, slap yeah. the shit out right. of him, right? And I think they would have been like, because I do feel empathy for Will Smith, where it's like his wife. I bet behind closed doors, she is very upset about this, and mm -hmm. it's emotional, yeah. and, and he is picking on a condition she can't help. And that's an interesting thing because you know, like uh, in most cases, like okay, what if um, what if she uh, was paralyzed? And then his joke is like, can't wait to see you in the Superman remake. Sure. Some kind of fucking Christopher Reeves reference or, you know, something, mm -hmm. something, or can't wait to see you and, you know, whatever re references that. I think people would be like, ugh, and that's on, that's on Chris Rock. Right. Th then everybody in the front row walks up and punches the shit <laughs> out of Chris Rock's face. But, but this one was, I think a lot of people didn't understand there was history there mm -hmm. and it's not, you know, it's not as serious as paralysis, obviously, but it's, uh, but I mean, it can be very serious to her. But yeah, I think that like just standing up, standing up and being like, hey man, don't. Mm-hmm. Just don't. Dramatic. Just don't. God, we should have paid oh him. Oh my God, just don't. Why? We didn't pay him. <laughs> we, next time. <laughs> perfect. Next Oscars, we were like, hey, if, if oh Chris God. Rock says anything. He opens up his shirt and he has a just don't t shirt oh, on. Sales go, through, sales go through the roof. Dude, that would have been uh, the best. <laughs> or Nike sues us. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see him. I'd like to see him sue us for a oh my waste God, of their for time. Parody, yeah. <laughs> uh, but but what somebody also brought up to just a bunch of comics talking about it. I mean, and it does set such a bad precedent where it's like, now I wonder if there's going to be a ripple effect. Are any people going to be hit in comedy clubs because they're like, oh, uh, I like, can slap a guy. I can slap a guy. I can slap a guy. Some some guys bust my balls from the stage because <laughs> there's a lot of guys that do that. I, I'm not one of those comics. I don't go after like, it's not my style, like as a storyteller to go after like personal attacks, but plenty oh, of people do. Oh, I'd love a, like, to watch a guy come try to slap you and oh, just yeah. watch. <laughs> I would get very angry. He would have to get, he'd have to be a monster. They're very good at fighting. He'd have to be the mountain. Not that I'm like a great... The mountain or the, the mountain. rock. He, he'd have to be fucking huge. Not that I'm great at fighting. For but you I, to wear it and be like, God damn I'll it. just take it. Just take it? Yeah. But there's anybody else, I would I guess, I would love to watch you kill them. <laughs> I think I would snap. <laughs> yeah, you would? I think I would snap. Anybody would. Yeah, I anybody would snap. Would. You don't yeah, just yeah, fuck, yeah, get yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. off exactly, the stage. Exactly. Get the fuck out of oh here. Oh my God. Because uh, I, I only had one person come up on stage and get with once... And him, luckily, I was able to just to like turn him around, and I just threw him off. Snap his neck. I broke his neck. <laughs> no, but I, but I gave him a hard push off stage. Okay. And then I was like, "Don't, man, don't, uh -huh. don't, don't." And not it, here, not yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, he was a goofball. I, he didn't read malicious as much as just like uh, being a weirdo. Uh huh. And so it wasn't like a threatening vibe. But if, it, but that's different. If it's a threatening vibe, but then you got to go fucking balls out. <laughs> right. And it's like you know, uh, I would think. I would think just survival instincts kick in, and you're like, I'm going to do everything I can to fucking hurt this motherfucker. I'm going to wrap this mic cable cord around this motherfucker's neck. Oh, my God. And then you, hang him from the rafters. Oh, my God. Which would be hard to pass, like, publicity-wise. Oh, my God, the viral viral video? Right now. Yeah. But but you get some, like, really like dedicated fans. Oh, They're yeah. Like, oh, I understand. I was there, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that guy deserved to be hung in front of everyone. Can you, can you imagine, <laughs> like, Hank, can you imagine, like, 
just like what a weird scenario for the crowd not to intervene like you're watching the show guy comes up on stage comic <laughs> fucking, tries to hit the comic and at first you're like holy shit whoa and then the comic hits him back and you're like yay like it's justified and then the comic uh, fucking takes the mic wraps it around their neck and you're like oh I don't know <laughs> right. and, and then and then hucks and, and then hucks the other it. end over a fucking rafter <laughs> and then leans into it and fucking hangs it pulls them just up. Robin Hood <laughs> <laughs> they're hanging there and the microphone is right on his mouth <laughs> so you just hear like here. <laughs> Dude, like it, and you're fucking like, start, starting to clap. You oh are my from the stage. God. You're like death, death, <laughs> death, and they're like, what the fuck? And then you pull him back down. You pull harder on his legs to make sure that he's he's wasting your time. There's <laughs> <laughs> too much gagging. You gank on his legs. Get him out of here. <laughs> that is so dark to think about. I was picturing like, like I was working with John Huck this last week, and like somehow for some reason John comes up as like he's getting this guy's getting hanged, like getting pulled and his feet are off the ground now, <laughs> and he's like, guys, it's all part of the show. It's all part of the show. Like he tries to calm him down so people Come don't intervene. Come up next is not Dan Cummins. <laughs> Please stay. <laughs> all part of the show, guys. All part of the show. And then the guys, and then the, and when the guy's dead, it's like just just kidding. That that wasn't part of the show. That he's, was the show. He's, he's dead. <laughs> that was the show, and you're welcome. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, today's society fucking would love it. The craziest video I can ever think of of, an, of a comic attacking an audience member. It's an old video. I don't even know. I want to say I, I feel like I saw like a DVD somebody had. It's like it was like a legendary thing that would get like in comedy condos. Like they would pass it around. Yeah. This must have been from 20 years ago, 25 years ago. I'm sure it's probably on the internet somewhere. But it was a guitar comic, don't know his name. He wasn't somebody who, you know, really toured, I don't think, that much. But somebody was giving him shit. <laughs> and you can't see what happens to the person afterwards. But it is funny where it's like he has his guitar oh. and he takes the, <laughs> the neck of the guitar <laughs> and fucking smashes this guy in the head. And then you just hear people behind him being like, no! <laughs> like they're like, like too far. And he says something. He says something like... I mean, uh, he, he deserved it, right? You're out of tune, bitch. <laughs> no. Something like that. No, he said something like, you deserved it. And you could hear somebody uh, in the back be like, no, he didn't. <laughs> like, like the crowd that's was not, not how with I, him. That's not how I interpreted that. <laughs> I felt like he did not deserve that. <laughs> oh, my God. And, and then I, and I saw a video that's not on the internet. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I won't say who, who it was because she didn't want this to be out there, I think. But it's a female comic. Hmm? And open mic, it was, uh, oh, my God, it was in Indianapolis years ago where it was taped. <laughs> uh, guy is uh, heckling. Her. She's the host of the show. It's her show. Guy's on stage is giving her shit. Like won't get off when it, when the light is supposed to be you know timed whatever. He's bombing on stage and he's talking shit. Then when he gets off uh, stage, she comes back on and she makes fun of him. Oh, and then he comes up on stage like he's gonna fight her. It was fucking awesome how she handled it. And this was a middle-aged woman, uh -huh. but larger woman and like stronger than she looked. He smaller guy, he starts to step over the monitor to get on the stage. She gives him like a perfect form, like a like a blocking high school like a football. Sumo push? Like a yeah, yeah, big Boom. sumo push. Yeah. Boom, two hands in the chest, flies <laughs> out of frame, like it's cartoonish, launches him. She jumps over the monitor. You, you see her like she, you know, run off stage, and then you just hear. Oh. And you just gotta be like, ow, oh, goddamn, get off me, bitch, get off me. <laughs> and it it was one of the fucking funniest things. <sighs> and then she comes up on uh comes back up on stage and she said something, and she's like, motherfucker, you made me mad. She's like, you made me take off my fucking weave. Oh, damn. Like it, but it was like she was a boss. It yeah. was one, the most dominant display of uh don't fuck with me uh -huh. I have ever seen on a comedy stage. <laughs> right. God, I, I don't know why she doesn't want it out there. Um, because if it was me, but I'm like, she, like, it's Chris pinned Rock, to my fucking homepage. <laughs> Chris Rock, Will Smith situation. She doesn't mm. want to go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> Could be it. Yeah, but he did approach her. I was like, I think yeah, you're... Yeah, if he's but attacking maybe, first. But maybe she's worried about that. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's worried about that. But from a... From an impressive standpoint, I'm like, oh, this is legend shit. <laughs> right. Oh. I am legend. You get it? <laughs> I get it. Will Smith. It. Will Smith, baby. Nice. What if, nice. Chris, what if Chris Rock shanked him? Okay. I know. Uh, I did. I did think he about gets it. slapped and goes, oh, shank. Like he oh knew it was God. coming. Yep. He's prepared for any joke that went sour. Don't and you fucking like, embarrass me, motherfucker. fucking ACL. I am waiting. Chris Rock hasn't, as we, as we record this, hasn't spoken out about it. Okay. But he's going to have, my money is, there is a great, great bit coming. <laughs> I bet you know it's, th this is not going to be not addressed. He's pretty good at being funny. He's very. He's one of the best. He's one of the best. <laughs> Chris Rock is on the Mount Rushmore of stand up to me. He's like top four all time. Mm -hmm. like, he's brilliant. <laughs> I just pictured his face on like a Mount Rushmore thing with just Will Smith's <laughs> fingerprints on the side of his face. Like it's a, his handprint is <laughs> just carved into the stone. I just think he's going to want to <laughs> reclaim because like 
he's had such an amazing career. But to a lot of people, for a long time, he's just going to be known as the guy who got slapped by Will Smith. (laughs) A whole generation (laughs) is going to think of him as that. I think he's going to overcome. He's going to come up with something so good. God damn. He's got to reclaim it. Yeah, he does. Something, something's coming. Uh, Okay. Well, that got our juices flowing, but we have more to talk about in the juice flowing department. Okay. And we're going to do it right now. Okay. Logan, do it. The very super most important starting question. So this would you rather yeah. has been sent in so, so many. many times, but I have heard it before. Oh. So I put it off for for a while. Okay. Until now. Okay. And I'm dragging it in, and I know it's one that's been uh, been discussed by many people out there. Oh, okay. But we have not talked about it on the show, and it is very funny. So, okay. Would you rather have nipple sized fingers or right, finger right. sized nipples? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one that is a good nipple one. sized fingers that's tiny fingers <laughs> Dude. tiny little fingers hey i'm gonna get useless you. i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get you those are useless fingers you yeah. can't you can't do anything with those fingers you can't throw a fucking ball you can tickle nipples ironically <laughs> that's the only thing you can do god Dude, and then but then having like <laughs> at your finger hand. sized nipples. That's a Look big at your ass hand. nipple. Cut your fucking fingers off. Put a nipple on it. Oh my! Just these tiny little it, fucking. And it fingers. says nipple sized fingers. So right. I'm guessing these little nipples have knuckles. Oh my god! <laughs> and a little fingernail. Oh, so, oh my god! <laughs> it would look so weird because if your hands the same size. Hey. So you have like a bigger normal hand, uh-huh. and then you have these teeny little things popping off. Like there's so much <laughs> space in between them. Yeah. It'd be such a weird looking hand. Cross my fingers, hope to die. <laughs> you, you wouldn't be able you to can't. cross your fingers. <laughs> can't. I can't. The peace sign. Oh my god! Just fucking two little LED bulbs. <laughs> People wouldn't even. No matter what we, sign you gave from anyone more than six feet away, just sees a, a hand. With it no looks fingers. like you lost all your fingers. Just looks like you lost. Your, you had and to get so what, close. What, what grew back was nipples. Oh my god! And then if you had your fingernails painted, how weird that would look. This tiny little paint. One tiny little dollop. Little of, little, of fingernail paint. What are they called French something? On fingernails, French French manicure, French yeah, something like that. With Where the they white, have the little white uh, stripe yeah, 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 on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be, I'll French be. tip. French tip. French tip. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Logie, get in here, buddy. <laughs> Come uh, here with that French tip. And now and now, finger size nipples <laughs> is disturbing. <laughs> Fucking, but for whatever reason, out the gate for me, less disturbing. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah you're I'm leaning heavily towards finger size <laughs> nipples, but it's gonna be across the bear. You're a businessman. You're like, <laughs> let's sh- shake on it. And you have the fucking nipple things? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? They just feel these little, like, oh my God. <laughs> these little things on the top. Like, kind of kind of grab around your hand. Like, <laughs> tiny little scrapes. Oh. Good. If you have finger-sized nipples, <laughs> as a woman, if you're even a moderately attractive woman, yeah. you can make bank and fetish porn. I don't mind. Your, my- your OnlyFans account is <laughs> fucking lit. You tell me right now. Um, deal breaker nipple size for you. Oh, like how big do you like? Do you like a big nipple? I I like a variety of nipples. Yeah, but I don't mind a big ass nipple. I don't mind a a big finger. I don't mind a big fair faucet nipple. But finger finger length. Look at me. Look at this right here. No, that's huge. It's huge. (laughs) It's huge. (laughs) I'd still do it. Which I I feel a little weird about. Yeah, sucking on that nipple. It's almost a blowjob. It's almost like like a sucking on a dick. A a, tiny, tiny titty dick. A little titty dick. <laughs> Which is fine. Which is fine. Which if you're if you're breastfeeding, man, mm, you've got they get long. You've got like a an extension hose. Oh my god! Like that makes it yeah. so easy. Yeah. Like you don't have to hold the baby up. Just fucking whip it right. down, drip it in, <laughs> drip that shit in the baby's mouth. So I, okay, I think. <laughs> Man, I'm just, I'm just thinking of how it affects. Like, I just think about like certain <laughs> looks that women can wear. It's so hot, like the t-shirt with no bra, and yeah. you see like the little the nipples kind of poking out. That's a that's one of my favorite looks. I think it's so sexy. Boom. But if you have the finger nipple and it's just pushing the shirt out like so far, <laughs> little holes cut out of the shirt. Oh my god! You just let them let them breathe. You, oh, you have holes cut out of your shirt, <laughs> and then you have covers, kind of like a what? Like a a little doily that goes over like a fi- like a finger like a. <laughs> Right, God, like when you when you hurt when you break your finger and they have to put a little oh, little metal cover on uh, it. splint splint, but sometimes they put the cloth on it. Mm-hmm. You'd have that without the metal. You would just have to have so your shirts don't hang weird. Mm. You have like a like a regular T-shirt <laughs> with holes cut out that you put your finger nipples through, <laughs> so it fits perfectly then because it stays in place. Sure, and then you have some kind of cover that you have to put on your nipple. Fingers. Stays in place better than ever. Better than ever because it's locked onto a bolt. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. fucking nipple it's a bolt, fucking eye bolt, or whatever. <laughs> Holding nipple it all in bolt. place. <laughs> As a guy. Oh man, you gotta like. 
Uh, you have to have some special stuff put under your shirt. You have to always wear like a sports jacket, basically. Mm. You, you can't just wear like a tank you top. You can tape it down. You're going to look weird. <laughs> 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 and the, but then if your nipple gets Tuck erect, it. Well. it fucking <laughs> destroys your shirt. <laughs> it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a huge issue. Explaining mm. that, like, um, you gotta wear sweaters, you gotta uh, wear loose fitting sweaters about, all the time. About to get naked in front of someone for the first time, yeah, or second, like, you have to have a, a warning sheet, right? Of like, and it's dark, and you think you're going up to suck a nipple, <sighs> you could stab your fucking eye out, yeah, you could have a fucking eyeball skewer. I know this isn't an option, but I would remove my <laughs> nipples entirely if I had finger nipples. Well. No, no one's going to say that's not an option. Would, you could have them and you're like, oh, yeah, I'd love that. Shank. And just get like a, a cigar cutter. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> just just oh, chomp that man. fucking nipple off. Man. I'm about to look up um, mm. longest male nipples. Okay, you do that. Okay. And I'll, well, never mind. I can't show them. Never mind. I was going to say longest. <laughs> you're like, you do that. I'm going to show my nipples. I'm going to show my nipples. <laughs> just fucking these hugies. <laughs> bing, bing. I was gonna look oh, up. you mean like this? <laughs> <laughs> like in touch? <laughs> uh, no. I- <laughs> oh no! I just thought about uh, breastfeeding, and then but you just like make an inner like a a circuit with oh, your yeah. milk, where one oh. squirts milk into the other one. It's just a, a self. Yeah, yeah. I don't know kinetic energy, energy, or whatever it's called. <laughs> um, these are pretty big nipples, but not even some f- some dudes' nipples are gonna throw. The, uh, yeah. Oh, here, look at these oh, guys. Okay. Okay, he, those are big nipples. He, but though, that mm. would still be small finger. <laughs> yeah, that'd be that'd be that'd be way smaller than a finger. That's a baby carrot. That looks like he got one of those suction cups put on it and like to like uh, expand it, like a dick pump kind of Pussy thing. Pussy pump. Pussy pump. Um, okay, yeah, that's gonna be if you have finger sized nipples. Damn, and that guy wh- keeps showing up. What about this? He's got a great beard. I know, but that's that's what he has a great beard Whoa, because he has giant nipples. nipples. Look at this guy. That guy's nipples are bigger. Thank you. Holy shit. <laughs> what a world! What a world! <laughs> wow! That, but that's one knuck. That's one knuckle. That's one knuckle. We need we need another knuckle and a tip. Like Man, dude, it's just oh, that's a big tongue. That's a big tongue. Why is that on there? I don't know. Why? I don't <laughs> know. Now it's just going to weird like carnival stuff. <laughs> it's like hey, you. I, I saw you look up okay. male nipples. You want freak show? <laughs> right. Yes, I do. Okay, so finger nipples it is though, because you can't do anything with hand nipples. Finger nipples. But it's funny. You can't do anything with tiny fingers the size of this. <laughs> you drop anything like oh one second oh my nope. god yep. good luck good luck unless it's in snow yeah. or, or pudding you might as well not have hands <laughs> just have mitts just have stumps like there's no like you you don't have a hand oh i hate it i'm picturing yeah. this little now i want to i'd, I'd want to either way with if, whatever way i got burdened with i'd want to either just cut my hands off <laughs> or, cut, or my cut my nipples off sure because then at least like then i could have a prosthetic cool they have cool prosthetic hands i'd cut my nipples off thinking prosthetic nipples for some nipples. reason, I don't know why. Mm. Longer. Yeah. I want a fucking. I want foot long nipples. What if that became a thing? Like <laughs> the longer like nipples, fake, the... fake nails. And I was thinking of accessories. Oh, paint them. Like no, like just like add on nipples. Oh, where if you want like a bigger nipple, you can have like these all these different like nipple extensions. Dude, I bet it exists. Probably does. It has to. There's so many cosmetic things out there. Nipple extensions. Like your nipple. Like oh my god, I wish my nipples would get harder to poke through this shirt. Mm-hmm. You can get some sweet ass. Guarantee it or fake like they're fake pierced nipples. Oh, they're, they're, damn it! It's coming up with like plumbing fucking supplies. <laughs> <laughs> damn it! Uh, Which breast go- breast nipple fakes long <laughs> breast on, nipple extensions? Mm, not I mean, a- there's breastfeeding things. Yeah, but not like a fashion accessory that I can see. Uh, well, all right. Well, we found our calling. Yeah, somebody there's a market there. Somebody <laughs> wants those fucking big ass nips. I bet there is. <laughs> You got a one in five chance of finding your soulmate here. with finger long nipples. Oh my god! I gotta turn this off <laughs> now. Now I'm on to nick nipple surgery. Oh my god! <laughs> there was somebody attaching a nipple to a chest. <laughs> That's a good place for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right above your ween. <laughs> it's got two nipples like right on your, <laughs> right above the dick. Oh my Little god! Eyeballs. Uh, okay. So anyway, we'll take those. Because someone's okay. going to like me for who I am. Yeah. I've got finger nipples. Yep. No one's going to like me for who I am. Fred. i got fucking nipple fingers. No, nah, that's hard. <laughs> yeah. Pun intended. <laughs> All right, moving on. Who the what fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? This story was sent in by dummy Sissy. Sissy? Not that much. I mean. Sissy. I don't know if that's the, the, the name name or... I don't know. Well, you or could be a name. Yeah, you could be a nickname or sissy or whatever. I like sissy. Sissy SpaceX. There's but sissies. this is just so fucked up. Okay. 
Police say hugging bandit pickpocketed older men. Oh no! I know. And just just check this shit out. Oh, guess lady. where guess where this took place? Florida. Police in Florida have arrested a 65 year old woman who they have dubbed the hugging bandit. Huh. Clearwater Police Department said Kathy Stevens would approach older men outside stores, pretend she knew them, hey buddy, and then go in for a hug. While hugging them, she would help herself to her wall or to their wallets, credit cards. The Clearwater Police Department said she's an older crook, 65, 65 year old grifter. CBN New or CBS News reports that Stevens allegedly spent a thousand dollars in at least one of the stolen credit cards. The police department said Stevens is connected to four different reports. Stevens faces more than a dozen charges across the Tampa Damn. Bay area, Clearwater Police said. Well, she's going to be spending her uh, senior years in jail. What the fuck? Like, and maybe I, sad. maybe this is stemming from uh, a place where, like, my dad. Oh. My dad and his brain cancer. Someone yeah. could walk up yep, right just now take, take advantage of and like just that. say, oh, my God. Hey, buddy. It's so good to see you. Mm-hmm. And then give him a hug and just take, take all the shit. That's so fucked up. Yeah, it, it is especially sad. The hug, <sighs> the hug part of it. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Like, and then, and then like, I haven't seen you since anything class, mm-hmm. or since the date that happened. Oh my god! And they, and they don't want to feel bad. I've been hugged by strangers. Uh, Where's your wallet? Uh, I have my wallet in your butt. <laughs> but I was just thinking because I, I was th- I was thinking for a second. I was like, well, I just wouldn't hug them. And I was like. No, I've been hu- like uh, I, th- I, th- I just wouldn't hug them, fucking idiots. I think they were mentally ill. Uh-huh. Like it was a lady at a coffee shop, and I'm like, she she was clearly dealing with. She was definitely she was dealing with something. Mm-hmm. And then she came up and just like just hugged me. I didn't want to be hugged, but she hugged me. But I, w- I didn't feel like I should say anything because I didn't want to uh, upset her, set her off. <laughs> you want to make things worse? Nope, I didn't want to cause a scene, so I, I just got hugged. <laughs> Did you check your pants pocket for a wallet? No, I didn't, think of it. I didn't think of it. She right. could have got me. That's what we're learning here. She could have She could have pretended to be mentally ill <laughs> just to take people's wallets. That's um, Now someone's probably going to do that. Can you imagine? Like how low you have to be <sighs> to not only first steal from the elderly. Yeah. Uh, who you're preying on them having no idea who you are and taking right. their shit. And then probably being slow to catch it because yeah. they're not fucking checking that shit all the time. And then also pretending to be mentally ill in order right. to steal shit from an, from elderly people. You know that that's happened. You know there's been people who've been uh, who oh, pretended there's way to be mentally lower. ill. And they're probably in a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. Like they've taken it so low yeah. for all of the pity points Yeah, uh, just to take your, your debit card. Ugh. Uh, it just skeeves me out of hate. How, how is that like wh- when you when you have a ruse kind of like that elaborate and it involves some, like at that point wouldn't it just be better to get a job? <laughs> right. It's it's gonna not be easy that much doing it. <laughs> right. You know, it's like just just get a job at that point. So what you, you, have you, doing? To, you have to like try and guess a pin number and shit. Like come <laughs> right, on, right? Just go get a job. That is a funny thing that I've seen. You know, like, people do where they make their lives so complicated and hard, <laughs> trying to avoid like honest work. <laughs> That they end up working way more than they would have if they just would have gotten a job. You could have made that in an hour. <laughs> right. Just go get a job. Just all your energy going in the wrong directions. <laughs> right. And if you have a job, the risk of going to jail, it's gone. Yeah. And that's big. Mm-hmm. That's a big deal. Maybe yeah. she just didn't give a fuck. I don't know who this yeah. Stevens lady is, but that's so fucked up maybe to she's me. A, maybe she's a man hater. Maybe some, some dude was... Right, mean to her, or maybe some people they don't even need that reason. Maybe she just uh, hates dudes. And she's like, he's getting back. How could I get money? She she was hugging like an older man yeah. one time, man one time, and reached around and grabbed his ass and felt his wallet. Mm, she's, she's like, that's a ooh. thick ass wallet. Mm. Ooh, I could take that. Mm-hmm. I could take that wallet better than I could take that dick. No, no, that's like a dad joke, but for older kids, for older for older people. Um, but I don't know what sparked her her fascination with just stealing shit from old people. Yeah, I don't know. But it did remind me of just a, like scams in general. And I know yeah. that we've talked about scams in the past on the show. Yeah. But it's been like 30 episodes or so. And I thought about uh, not nearly as bad as hugging old people outside of, I don't know, a Walmart. Yeah. And pretending to be their cousin. Right. And then taking their shit. Not nearly that bad. But I do remember... A scam that my my friends would do, and luckily I was on the receiving end of the scam. Yeah. So I never told anybody. Yeah. But his parents were often out of town, so okay. we were always looking for a house to party at. So uh, him being the person that he is, I uh, when our friends would show up to the house or yeah. just other people that were coming to party, his excuse was, "I have a refrigerator in the garage. We're gonna go put all the beer in there." However. I'm taking your cardboard boxes because I don't want the evidence. Mm-hmm. So he would take all of the beer 
and they put it in the in the fridge that's in the garage, and they take all the cardboard boxes so mm-hmm. we can get rid of them. Okay, uh, that was the excuse. Like you're, the empties aren't going to be fucking everywhere. Sure, didn't sure. matter. It worked. Yeah, yeah. So they would empty these out in the in the garage. However, there was always a friend that was hiding in the garage. So when they emptied their beers into the refrigerator, yeah, they would go back inside after grabbing their beers. And then he would open it up and then take some of their beer. <laughs> And then go and hide it like outside. So we all we got to drink for free all night. Sure, sure. So whoever showed up, they're just clustering into a big bunch. So you'd never know how many like your beers. You don't know who the fuck took them. Like oh my god, my fuck, all my keystones are gone. Uh, but who are you gonna fucking blame? What a like low stakes I know. scam. But that's that's just fucking teenage shit. Yep, yep. Like we can't afford beer. Yeah, we didn't have to steal it. We didn't have to go find somebody to buy it for us. Right. All we had to do was host it. Yeah. And then we would have free beer for the entire I mean, pretty night. Pretty clever. Pretty clever. I know, but bullshit. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, and then eventually people started like kind of ca- like, ah, no, I'm, I kept it in my car because <laughs> last time I was here, all my beer fucking vanished. Funny. Fuck, it's crazy how that happened. How weird. Oh my God, it's so weird, bro. I never, I can't think of like uh, pulling off any grifts. Kyler Monroe did when they were in school. I thought this was funny. Uh-huh. I don't even know how they got the idea for this. I don't know if another kid did it or something. But they um, came up with this plan to buy bags of mints, like just a little like lifesaver like white, the like little wintergreen sur- mints. Yeah, yeah, just like the one little like lifesaver shaped, like little Green donut shape thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And you and, and they're like individually packaged in there. Mm-hmm. So you get, uh, or, or you could find these ones that are indiv- no wait, maybe they didn't even do the individually packaged. They might not even bother with that. And then they would sell a mint. So you buy a bag for a couple bucks. And then sell the mints to classmates for like twenty five cents per mint. <laughs> and I remember first I'm like, not, that's way too much. Okay, but then, then like they would sell them just left and right because kids don't understand money. There's no price on like, fresh I got, breath. I got a quarter in my pocket and I want a mint. Done. <laughs> Watch Deal. this. And check this out. Oh, here you go. Thank you. And done. Kyler was doing it at his junior high, and Rose was doing it at her grade school, and they were uh, they made pretty good money. But then the teachers shut them down at both places. What? Eventually, she was like, "No, you can't keep doing this." <sighs> I don't know. if Parents complained that their kids are getting ripped off for mints or what? The, they were sell, the teachers were selling mints, and they were cutting into their oh my god their budgets. You, can, their you can't do that. Uh, I'll sell you this mint for twenty cents. Right. <laughs> you can't. I was already here. Come on. I was already here. And if you this want is my street corner, you want an F. Then keep doing it. If you want an A on your next assignment, quit selling the fucking mints. Quit selling the fucking mints. <laughs> I did something similar too, uh, selling candy for a band in high school. Yeah. Which is buy the entire box of candy and then charge a little bit more to sell them. Like fundraiser candy? Mm-hmm. So you'd help raise funds. I'd help it. I'd raise funds. That's a win-win. I know. You made money, they sell made money. sell it all. Yeah, exactly. It's capitalism, baby. <laughs> right. But showbiz. Showbiz. Showbiz, baby. <laughs> uh, this next story was sent in by a ton of dummies, and it's just absurd. Okay. And, I mean, it was, it's, it's easy to see. But a dog was dumped at a local shelter because owners say that he was gay. Oh, my God. That actually happened. Mm-hmm. Somebody got rid of their dog yep. because they thought their dog was gay. North Carolina. Oh, I was just there, by the way. I had a lot of fun in the Comedy Zone in Charlotte. Did you see any gay dogs? N- uh, no. I had a. I have a on my writer. It says uh, gay dogs are not to be brought to the show. Right. No. No gay dogs in, the, in no. this in this green room. <laughs> no, but I had I had a lot of fun. But that is that is fucking like what? I know. How that's a, that's another that's a level of homophobia I didn't even know existed. And we don't even have to read the article. I'm just going to tell you what happened. And there's a good uh, a good twist on the back end. But this okay. dog. Dog, the owner dropped it off Jesus. at the shelter because it humped another male dog. And this dog, I'm assuming, because he said it was a good idea, he's going to be adopted by somebody else. So yeah. I will say the new home this dog went to, wherever it is, guarantee it's a thousand times better than Captain Dipshit's home. Yep. And it's a gay couple that came and got the dog. Uh, great. Which is great. amazing. And I bet they take care of that dog so much more. If you're the kind of person that would get rid of your dog for seeing it hump another <laughs> dog of the same sex, that dog does not have a good life at home. <sighs> because you're fucking crazy you're just a piece of shit you being that i mean imagine being that judgmental over like oh the God. things that your dog does and how do you just like, my, like your dog like eats some other dog shit and you're like you know what fuck you to the shelter we go right, right. you disgusting loser oh my god and that's such a different because usually the argument for homophobia the only like you know like other than i mean the only argument i've ever heard is like that it goes against god some kind of like religious argument and, uh, and and that implies that there's All a choice. All dogs go to heaven. Right. All dogs go to heaven. But that implies that there's, there's a choice. And then it's not nature because it's a scientific argument, which is the valid argument, is that it's uh, it's science. Mm-hmm. You're 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 born how, that way. You don't you don't just choose to be like ah, I just feel like uh, I want dick now. Uh, I don't I don't care what my my Christian parents think. I just want that dick. Uh, but this shows <laughs> how would they know what dick tastes like? <laughs> right. I'm gonna find out. But this just shows that it is nature. It's like the dog. The dog isn't like rebelling. 
The, do- the dog didn't get lured by the, the devil. The dog's just humping stuff. The dog just wants to fucking hump some ass. <laughs> right! And there's a male ass there, and it's like, fucking get it. You've never said something like, that more relatable to me than that. I just want to hump some ass. I just want to hump some ass. I don't care. Come on. I don't care what it is. A How's it smell? What color a is hole. it? I want to fuck it. Is it clean? <laughs> is it clean? I don't even care. Will it feel good around my dick? Also don't care. I just want to fuck some ass. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it doesn't have to be clean. And it doesn't necessarily have to feel good. Because sometimes, you know, pain's pleasure. Okay. As they say. All right. <laughs> uh, but this got me thinking about, yeah. uh, we both have some fur babies. Yeah. Uh, but a story that I haven't shared on the show before. Uh, which is some like, some dumb shit that your your dog has done. Yeah, uh, and of course, yeah, my dog has tried to hump other male dogs because that's what dogs do. Yeah, yeah, mostly male dogs, especially. Yeah. Sure. So uh, this story happened a handful of years ago, but our dog, one of them, Ryrie, yeah, who we call him Rocket Sausage, because he's a half wiener dog, half Jack Russell, so right. he's a fast ass sausage. Uh, and we left the house one day, and we just got done cooking some pulled pork. And we had it up on the counter. Yeah. There's no way this fat sausage should have been able to get up there. Yeah. Uh, sometime in the span of a couple hours, we went down to the beach, we came back. He jumped up somehow and grabbed the edge of the container and just ripped the entire thing off the counter. So we walked in and he had eaten so much uh, of the pork. Yeah. He was just laying next to it. He probably <laughs> ate 10 pounds of pulled pork. And he's laying next to all the pork that he ate just going... <laughs> ah, that's my favorite part of the story. <laughs> just moaning. You said his belly was really distended. So big. He was just God, a, like he was gonna pop. You're right. He couldn't stop. And he just <laughs> once he pop, they can't stop. Oh my um, God. I love dogs. We'll Duty pop. Almost eat themselves into like ripping apart their stomach. <laughs> sure. Just just cannot stop. So he's a ball and he's so big he can't even move. He can't even try to hide the evidence. He didn't go across the room. Yeah. He just laid down and said, This is how I'm gonna die. And he just mm, moaned it out. And yeah, we had to order some takeout. Yeah. Because he ate all the food. Yeah. Uh, Pretty funny. But it was really funny. Like, couldn't even couldn't even move him. Like, he was so <sighs> sad. Like, Ryrie, what'd you do? And he's like, mm, 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 mm. And he couldn't even <laughs> roll over. He was so big. His stomach hurt so bad. Oh, yeah. He's a, he, I mean, probably a 10, 15 pound dog. Yeah. He was a 20 uh, pound dog that day. <laughs> yeah. He ate so much pulled pork. <laughs> uh, Ginger um, had one really bad week. It's funny, like, like a dog's behavior will just like suddenly change. Mm-hmm. We had, uh, we would leave like little dishes of candy and stuff around the house. Like Lindsay loves to have like little snacks out, you know, like for kids or whatever. And um, dogs never got into any of that. And then she was having uh, like a, a girl's night with some friends. I was out of town. No, I was, uh, no, I was, I went to bed early for some reason. So I was home, but I was asleep. That's right. And she's upstairs uh, having like, you know, some girlfriends pillow over. Fight. Pillow fight. You know Topless how it is. Pillow uh, fight, yeah. lacy, lacy panties. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like slow motion, lots of hair blowing around. Poof. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, uh, they had like a charcuterie kind of board out, so they had that stuff on the table. And then for some reason, something that happened with one of them, they lost their. Fo- something came up where Lindsay had to help one of them get to their house. So I can't even remember what it was. I uh, alcohol might have been alcohol. Might have been needed to drive them. <laughs> I don't know what happened. They were drinking, <laughs> and she was too fucked up. No, something. Yeah, probably that. <laughs> sure, yeah. Probably that. And, uh, I don't know what it could be. Uh, they were fine when I went to bed, and then <laughs> yeah. somewhere between there, I think that's what one it was. of them couldn't walk anymore. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> That fucking, she had to get her home. That weird grape juice they were drinking. <laughs> right. So, so uh, she leaves the table unattended. The dog had never, to our knowledge, gone on this table. And uh, comes back half an hour later, and, and this entire, like, cheese wheel is gone. Oh. So, we don't know which one, but, like, one of the dogs ate, like, over a pound of cheese. Oh, and these are, like, 25-pound dogs, not supposed to have cheese in general. Uh <laughs> Wake up the next morning and Ginger has blood dripping out of her butt. So it's terrifying. Like she goes, not a good sign. Not a good sign. She is pooping blood. So like, oh my God, oh what no. happened? Take her to the vet, have her stomach, I, I guess like pumped or whatever they do. They give her some kind of antibiotics to like soothe that she's fine. Just a bandaid on her butthole? Just a band They put a bandaid on her butthole. <laughs> That's why I don't have uh, own a, like a vet clinic. <laughs> yeah, just put a, we, put, we put some Neosporin on his butthole. <laughs> right, some gauze. Some gauze. I tape it up. <laughs> Should be good. <laughs> Should be good. I don't see uh, what's, uh, what's going to be a problem. The issue is his blood on the floor, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. not anymore. No, no more. More blood on the floor. <laughs> if, if there's more blood on the floor, come back. We'll uh, take this bandit off. We'll put another one on. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but uh, so the dog has to stay overnight uh. Uh, just to be safe. And then Ginger comes home the next day. And I think it was that night. If not, it was the next day. But it was right away. She jumps up on another table. We just thought, like, well, we just got to keep, like, cheese and food off of that table. She goes downstairs, gets into a whole bowl of Hershey's Kisses, uh. eats all of them. Gosh. 
uh, they're not supposed to have chocolate either. No. And uh, but what's funny on that is somehow that one didn't send her to the vet. No blood and stuff. We just monitored her. But then for like the next day, no or blood. Day they put a, put a band in. Put a band on. She was pooping uh, aluminum. <laughs> she had like all the little aluminum stuff from her. She's just coming out in her poop. It's pretty poop. It's real, real pretty poop. Shines in the sun. You know exactly where it is. That's a bonus. <laughs> You're looking for it at the yard. Like where yeah. is that? Zing. So we hit all Glows. of our we hit all of our food after that. And that was that was when she was like a year old, and she's a couple years now. I, but I remember thinking, I'm like, this dog's not going to last. <laughs> this dog's too stupid. Poor decisions. This dog's too stupid to live more than another year tops. <laughs> and I get it. Right. And that's fine. We'll get another one. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, so, you went some to lose some. This one's dumb. <laughs> Hopefully, the next one's at least smart, medium. Dumb. What are you doing? Right. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And that uh, in Ryrie, in our in our dog situation, is a smart one. Okay. We have Quigley, uh, a pure Jack Russell, fucking idiot. I, I love the Bless variant his heart. in dogs' intelligence, and some dogs are. So much smarter than others. <laughs> just the way they look at them. Mm-hmm. We were like, oh Blank my eyes. God, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. quit doing that. <laughs> bringing us both down. It's bad for the whole species. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> nonsense. Uh, okay, well, one star heroes! I get no respect in real life. Always am upset. So I let them know I hate them. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about hair. Yeah. Let's talk about hair. My hair, my hair is getting thinner. My hair's been getting thinner. It's I mean, a bummer. It's age. Yeah. Uh, you can see, you can tell that I use this stuff because if you look, we're talking about the the Boz Revive Voluming Shampoo and Conditioner, and on the page, uh, purchased two times. Look at you, right? Purchased in the past, and 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 we usually we get it from like Fred Meyer or some other place. So not even always from Amazon. But this thing is for it's a shampoo, conditioner, and then this foaming treatment, and and it basically it's like vitamins for your hair. There's, they even say like in the, in the description, it's like may, you know, regrow. I looked into it. It's like, you're, you're kidding yourself. If you think this is going to grow your hair back. (laughs) Basically what it does is it, um, poofs uh, it up. Yeah. It it makes sure your hair gets all the right vitamins. So it can be the healthiest it can be. And it kind of thickens the strands, the way it attaches some nutrients to them. And I do notice like a difference when I use like the foam before I put like the pomade in my hair, Mm -hmm. it just makes it look a little like whatever you have left, it makes it look a little thicker. I never went into this thinking like, oh man, this is going to like uh, bring my hairline back uh, a little bit. Listen, this it, is a witch. Mine's just like barely, it, it was always high, but it's definitely on the on the sides. Yeah. It's going back a little further. Me too. I'm, I'm losing it too. I love the idea of back of the Bosley yeah. warning or the whatever on the backside. Yeah. It starts out, it says, listen. Listen, <laughs> listen, buddy. <laughs> you, you didn't hit the genetic lottery. Right. You listen, got a bad roll to die. Listen, we're trying. Listen, we were hair- Look at you. Let's look at you. <laughs> we're- <laughs> we make hair vitamins. We're not wizards, right. right? We don't have a time machine. No, we don't, we don't have a staff. We can't. Well, we we can't. have a staff of people. But we don't have like a wooden wizard staff, and they're getting like a little cheeky. We can't go back <laughs> and give you a new dad to have better genes be inside of your body. If we could, we would. We, we would. But <laughs> you know that we're Bosley. <laughs> you know that. we've got the money to go back and get a new dad for you. We just can't. We don't have the technology. Anyway, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. We're gonna poof your hair up. <laughs> but we're, we're, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to make your hair a little poofy, <laughs> and you're going to like it. Uh, right. And then it's like, anyway, call 1-800-BOSLEY if you have any comments or yeah, concerns. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you really want, I worked with a guy who found a good doctor that did the hair plugs, which usually oh, I was like, yeah. I will say his guy, it was like, what the fuck? Like, it was amazing. <laughs> you. It was he, Rico! Yeah. Swah! He went to having so much hair, and I'm like, okay, well, good for you. It didn't look fake or anything. Did you um, run your fingers through it? I didn't. Oh. So that maybe that would have... I've always thought I've always and I probably wouldn't I but I've thought okay if I go really really bald well then I just ha- then I need to finally get my diet better and get like a six pack oh because you get because yeah. then it's like Bruce it's the Bruce Willis angle you're like a, you, if you're like I'm a, looking at you now I think you're gonna you're gonna be fucking you're already scary you're already scary looking guy if uh, you lose all oh, your hair that'd be scarier you, oh fuck no. me man like oh, you man. I like I would I would probably stop talking <laughs> To you in general. I'm like, I don't know. Yes. I go, Dan, whatever you need. And I keep getting bigger as I get older, just like just genetics or whatever, like resettle at different weights. I just picture that it's like, I'm just the scariest fucking grandpa. But just like lean into it. Just have a big white beard. Come here, boy. Get over here, boy. Okay, Santa. <laughs> yeah, Santa. <laughs> I'll be good. <laughs> um, okay. So this is uh, very well rated overall. 3,283 ratings. Come on. It's uh, 4.4. So that's pretty good. You know, for uh, uh, an item for that people have thing. a lot of uh, emotional attachment to. Okay. It's a 4275. Some people like it. Here's some five stars. This stuff works. All I can say is the Bosley shampoo and conditioner had really filled in my bald spot over the past few years. Yet some people do claim that it will, the nutrients will kind of regrow. I mean, I guess that can happen. So sometimes you get really lucky. It's not placebo. 
but I don't know if the placebo could grow your hair back. I don't know. You probably more critical. I don't of know. It. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how that happens. Uh, uh, it really helps. People are showing pictures of like, like their you hair know how, less. Like you work out, and yeah. then sometimes every now and again you look in the yeah. mirror, you're like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I wonder. This is dope. But like, yeah. reality is you've you've hardly changed at all. I know there is that. But you're putting in the works. Your brain's like, that's true. This is exactly what you wanted. And I do think with hair loss. <laughs> this is what you wanted. This is what you wanted. <laughs> this is what you wanted. Uh, I do think with hair loss, uh, there's different reasons. So maybe if it, the reason is like poor nutrition, stress, maybe then it can come back and yeah. be less stress. If it's genetic, I don't think it comes back. Yeah. I don't think it. Um, so okay, here's the one stars. Uh, one star uh, junior. Sucked. Just sucks. <laughs> Does it work? Calm down, Junior. Burns your skull when you start <laughs> loosing more hair faster. Don't buy. Find something else. Use with caution. I just, I just love the emotion. Just, you know, lots of exclamation points. And I love when people are like, don't, stay away from it. Don't ever. It's horrible. If you're going to use it, though, just be cautious. <laughs> right. But if you, if you do, if you do not heed my warning, <laughs> just please be cautious. Just please be careful. Use with caution. Drive safe. <laughs> please, drive safe. Uh, here's another uh, very upset person. Uh, Eric, this is Eric Polenko. I, I started to lose more hair. <laughs> plus dandruff. <laughs> Another caution. <laughs> caution! I don't know if this is the real stuff, all caps, or, or sorry, caps on real stuff, uh, or not. I used Bosley hair shampoo for normal to fine hair, and everything was fine for two and a half years. I got this stuff because I couldn't get the original shampoo that I got. Well, I have been using it for two to three weeks, and I noticed tonight that I was losing more hair than I ever have. Plus, I have dandruff. I never have gotten that before. Now I'm out 40 bucks because I'm a week too late to send it back. <laughs> so don't waste your money or your hair. More crap from Amazon. Angry face. <laughs> again, I just love the emotion. I, I love him. Being oh, some, he's, he's like, there's tears in his eyes as he types this. <laughs> he's a week late sending the product back. To, like get a refund yeah he can't find it. it's buried underneath all of his own hair that's been <laughs> falling out he's like where's my card oh, damn it where's so my computer much hair everywhere <laughs> what? Where's, my, where's my macbook where's my macbook <laughs> <laughs> his, his children like his tv the remotes his computer all lost underneath the mounds the of hair, of hair. <laughs> uh oh yeah <laughs> i like the way this was written ranjit kumar all right never go for bosley mm. i have been I, I have been taking Bosley products for several months, and it's absolutely of no use. My suggestion is never go for Bosley products. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> just three, the, just three, funny three, the way Three people written. are like, all right, I found that helpful. Right. I just like, okay, we get it. Like, it has no use. I, it's just redundant. My <laughs> suggestion don't. is to don't do it. <laughs> right. This thing made my hair fall out, made my wife leave me, <laughs> got sick. You want to know what I would do? <laughs> <laughs> if I I'll had the do, chance, I, I would do it all again. If I had to do it all over again, <laughs> guess what? I wouldn't do it. <laughs> oh man! Thanks, thanks. <laughs> uh, Carl M W. <laughs> all my teeth fell out. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, Based on all the great reviews, I thought that I was getting a dot dot dot. Awful. awful. <laughs> okay, that doesn't make sense. Product just <laughs> based on the reviews, I thought I was getting a <laughs> awful. <laughs> Uh, pro oh, put a poor fucking headline. <laughs> Product just made my hair fall out faster. Based on all the great reviews, I thought that I was getting a real winner. There he added it. Mm. But it turned out to be a real dud and just made my situation worse. Thanks to Bosley, I just got balder quicker. <laughs> I think I'll check out the reviews on razors so I can just shave my head and finish the job. God damn. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Dramatic, yeah, a lot, so, so, so much, so much drama in these comments. <laughs> I mean, people are very, they're emotional. I mean, I get it when your fucking hair is going right. Yeah, the acceptance process. Mm -hmm. You're like, mm -hmm. ah, fuck, ah, fuck. All right, fuck. <laughs> that's it. The end that, of it is like, ah, fuck. Well, yep, that's it. That's it. What am I gonna do about Could it? Could be a lot worse. If you, get, if you get your sight, the right. there's a lot of other things you can worry about rather than your hair. Can you poop? Can you pee? Can you poop? Can you pee? Does a wiener work? Mm -hmm. even, even if it doesn't. Okay. Okay. That's another you thing. Do you have a wiener? Do you have a wiener? It's a, you can still, a piece. You can, still, you can still tape a popsicle stick to it <laughs> and thrust it in something. You got foam? Yeah, come on. You got memory foam. <laughs> you got memory foam. That's what it's for. <laughs> Wait, not memory foam? Oh, yeah. Not memory foam. 
What's the the foam you spray inside the uh, hole? Like car- like expanding foam. <laughs> expanding foam. <laughs> memory, you got memory foam? What? Can't taste some memory what's foam my, around What's it? my bed have to do with any of this? <laughs> just let it sleep. Just just let it rest. It's, it's tired. Eternal, it's eternal rest. It's eternal rest. <laughs> <laughs> it's a forever pillow. Uh, Jace, one star. Waste of money. I like that waste is spelled like waste uh, between your <laughs> legs and torso. Right. Uh, didn't work at all for me. Baking soda worked better than all the stuff I tried of Bosley. <laughs> I just love that somebody's putting baking soda. <laughs> I looked into that. It's a, that. it's a wife's sale. Of course it is. But I love that somebody's like, why haven't you... Listen, the three years I spent rubbing baking soda on my head <laughs> did me a better job than Bosley. God damn. Why are you that, why are you that desperate to keep your fucking hair? Oh, Get a wig. I know I've brought it up before, but that is the perfect example yeah. of... Uh, I shared about how I would, for entertainment, yeah. go into medical forms, and I'd put my username as Dr. Something, <laughs> Oh yeah, and I'd give like just tiny bit off-base solutions to stuff, <laughs> where it <laughs> yeah. sounded like maybe it could work. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, like when you use like baking soda. You'd rub toothpaste in your, like, in your ear to cure an ear infection. <laughs> right, right. And it's like, could that work? Maybe I could try it. This is the same thing. Yeah. I, I wouldn't doubt if I gave this guy. Right, that's what I said. They, you inspired them, <laughs> right. or maybe this could be like the, one of those butterfly effects, domino effects, where you might have inspired someone who inspired someone who inspired, them, and it just right. trickled down to fucking Jace. <laughs> Jace is like baking soda in my and was going to make my hair grow. <laughs> oh, what a world! All right, Alex E, one star, of course. I have. Dr- oh yeah, this is like what do you do? Here? I have dry eye problems after I started to use. I have dry eye problems after I started to use this junk for two weeks. I had some kind of reaction. I have dry eyes now for over one and a half years. Four doctors and 17 appointments later, (laughs) after using the Bosley shampoo for two weeks, got to a point where I couldn't drive until I stopped it for four days. If I could turn anything back in my life, that would be using this. I just, how are you using this? I I picture this person literally pouring the shampoo directly into their fucking eyeball. (laughs) Trying to grow their eyelids. Like like their eyelashes, they have thin eyelashes. And they're like, well, what if we just pour the shampoo and let it burn for a minute on my eyeball? It has to be the same hair's hair, right? Right, hair's hair. And then I put, then I wash it out, rinse it out, then I put the conditioner on my eyeball. (laughs) And then I put the foam into my, I peel open my eyelids, pump the foam in there. Underneath. Underneath, hold it closed for a couple minutes. (laughs) And then, lo and behold, my eyes are really hurting. You know what this guy needs to do? Find his way to a courtroom. Because if right. this is happening from you rubbing it on your head, but he's not because there's, it's it's not it's not real. Yeah, this is not yeah. something else is happening. Yep. But if you put some shit on your head right. and it like made you go blind, yeah, you're gonna get a bunch of money. I I, I would love if like um there's the same person that finally occurs to them like what else was I doing those two and a half <laughs> weeks? Oh, that's right, toothpaste I, in my eyes. I fell into a fire. <laughs> right. I I was I had third degree burns over ninety five percent of my body and it burned my eyeballs out. I was welding without any sort of protection. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> God, that could be it. Maybe but that's probably it. the Bosley. No, Bosley, yeah. <laughs> I was using a, a steel grinder without glasses. <laughs> My eyes hurt. What happened? Uh, one more, and I just love the last line on this, just the drama again. Mr. Wayne, so-called nourishing shampoo that does not save your thinning hair but makes you bald. Bald! But, yeah, all caps. I have used this shampoo for over a year now, and I should have thrown it out a long time ago. Why? Because this shampoo has somehow accelerated my hair loss process to from thinning hair to now I have to shave off my head (laughs) as this product has somehow killed my already few hair follicles and caused more damage to my look than it was before. What a sentence. (laughs) This product caused more damage to my look than it was before. Oh, God, that's fucking terrible, Mr. Wayne. (laughs) Amazon should take this brand off this marketplace permanently, period. (laughs) This product will ruin your scalp and killed off hair. Thanks for ruining my life. (laughs) Christ. (laughs) I just love the drama. 69 people found this helpful. What? (laughs) (laughs) And I know it's sad, and I know hair loss Uh. is real. But for whatever reason, this Wayne guy, I picture he has just the... He has other shit going on. (laughs) He has a couple hairs. He has like four hairs. He has four. Oh he's just wisp, wisp up there. He's just yeah. one of the guys who never. And we all know that guy. Yeah. yeah. Where they they will they keep they keep Dude, combing it's, it. It's crazy. Just get it out of here. I do love it. Like you should wish. Yeah. In this case, I hope Bosley burns all your fucking hair off so you can move on. Right. Like that wispy comb over. Stop yeah. it. Yeah. Stop it. Just stop it. My, wear a hat. <laughs> wear a hat. Or shave your head. My favorite. Is you can tell it's, it's like the guy who only looks directly head on in the mirror ever, <laughs> <laughs> and he has like 
a little patch of hairs in the front. The poof. That come over the poof or whatever. Right. That little poof. But then when he turns around. The Dr. C it's, shit. Yeah, it's all bald and almost down to the very back. And right. it's like, dude, just get a, get a second mirror. Just go. Stand facing the second mirror with the first <laughs> mirror behind you and see what everyone else sees. Come with me to the fair. Come we're with gonna, me. We're going to go to the house of mirrors. We're going to go to the house of mirrors <laughs> and it's going to hurt. And it's going to hurt. You're going to see a lot of shit that see you see wish you never oh seen. My, oh my God. That, oh my God. No, that reminds me. <laughs> I forgot I did this. Oh no. Uh, this is the good start. Messing with people. I had a buddy, Stu Golfman, uh, good <laughs> good agent, fun guy. And we'd go to these like you know uh, college conferences, but he was going uh, bald in the back, mm -hmm. and we would just mess with each other. And one time when he wasn't looking, I took a picture of him from the top and like bald, like bald spot, and I made that his contact picture. So when he would call me, uh, that picture would show up. Uh -huh. And then for some reason, maybe maybe I wanted him to do it, or maybe he was. I was like, "Can you help me find my phone?" Oh, gotcha. So he maybe that was helping me find my phone. He calls it, and then he sees that picture. But it was the first, he had literally never looked. Oh no! And so that was how he found out he had a giant bald spot. And he was. <laughs> There's no way. And it was so much. He was like, "What? <laughs> oh no!" Are you serious? Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> he went and looked in the mirror. God damn it. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> There's no, think about washing your hair. You, you have, you denial. have. Oh, that's you just have not true. faced it that way. Oh, feels, feels that's a little thinner. Feels a little thinner back here. It can't be that bad. Mine might be. Lindsay was like, I think I'm yours is getting mine. a little thinner. I was like, whatever. But I will <laughs> whatever, say, whatever. Fuck you. Whatever. Fuck. <laughs> I don't care. I feel like I've made it. Like I had hair as long as I wanted it. Oh, man. And All so right. I, I feel like I've been in the bonus. Once I turned forty, I was like, I'm in the bonus period for hair. Some people feel differently, but I'm like, I just don't care because I thought because since my grandpa is bald, my Papa Ward was bald, my mom's dad. I was told at some point in my childhood that if your mom's dad is bald, you will definitely go bald. <laughs> and that is fucking not true. Uh -huh. and, 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 but I spent, I remember uh, because of my high hairline, uh, a teacher when I was a sophomore in high school was like, ah, I see, man, wait, you're, gonna, you're on your way. You'll be here soon. He was bald. I was like, what? <laughs> and then, and then, Whoa. And then he, was, he had me convinced. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to lose my hair in the next couple of years. <laughs> what a shitty impact to have as a teacher. Right. You, and I bet you know his name. This uh, motherfucker. Balducci, Mr. Balducci. Right? This motherfucker. Yeah. Out of all the Vegas. things that teachers could do mm -hmm. and all the, the good that they, they, they could change lives. These yeah. Meld yep. the, or mold these little minds. And he's like, I'm going to make this guy self-conscious self, <laughs> self about his hair. Right. Forever. Forever. Here you are. Well, and, and, Just still <laughs> fucking know his name and what he said. No idea whatever else he did. God, I didn't thought fuck of his him. name. Yeah, I did know his name. But yeah, I was like, of course. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, when, my, when I was in my late 20s, a uh, hairstylist in Spokane she was she was like so so do you, are you I can't remember how she said it but she's like well it looks like it's kind of it's kind of going up top and I was like wait what and she's like yeah she's like do you have switch baldness in your family you flip on a switchblade <laughs> what the fuck did you just say and she told so she was convinced she made me convinced I was going bald and I was like oh shit mm -hmm. and I'm still like so just basically on that if you think somebody's going bald but they're not going bald yet maybe shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe close your mouth. Maybe not a, a fucking surgeon or maybe whatever. Not a hair, hair doctor. Hair doctor. There we go. <laughs> maybe not a hair wizard. I don't know what that a hair but specialist. But Bosley is. Bosley is. Bosley is a fucking hair wizard and let a lot of people down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, that was a lot of fun. Okay, I good. have some good news, and you're actually you're gonna like this one. There's right. some ties into some past stuff we talked about. Log it. Sliver of hope. <laughs> I think like, the, the drama build. <laughs> Boom. I thought I up. messed up again. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Coming up next. Good news. Good news. <laughs> uh, so paralyzed man speaks first wor words with brain implant and he says, I want a beer. Whoa. I know. This is a one of those cross or crossroads between technology and good news. And I yeah. love I love both of them. So what I want this? a beer. A simple and direct request, but a damn amazing one because it was uttered by a paralyzed man who's communicating for the first time in months thanks to a life-changing brain implant. What? In a testament to a, the power of science a B and a beer, researchers in Switzerland outfitted a 36-year-old ALS patient with a chip in his brain which allows him to spell out sentences one letter at a time and he used it to order up a cold one. Whoa. On top of the brew, the guy also asked caregivers for a head massage from his mother, curry and soup fed through tubes, and wanted to rock out to the band Tool. Awesome. And in his words, he wanted it loud. That's awesome. <laughs> How amazing is that, this shit? That's so cool. 
Oh, I love it when like just and this is the the front end yes, of where this shit's gonna it's go. Just, yeah, it's just just getting started. Oh man. And that's nanotechnology the, implants. And, and we talked a little bit about this. Uh, I feel like we say this uh, a lot. Yeah. But on the secret suck. Yeah, we which talked is, about futuristic stuff. Yeah, and we talked about uh, just recently about my dad, and we were talking about yeah, like we don't know what he wants, like end of right. life care. Oh, right. Like we just, I don't know. I could lead yeah. him into saying anything. Oh yeah. Like I, I'd be like, hey dad, you want to set the house on fire? And if I said it enough times and happy enough, he'd be like, yeah. But yeah, let's fucking do it. But technology might technology like he might like he is mm. and and maybe not in our case uh, or in my I don't know my dad's case yeah where but like in the cases where the brain like they can still communicate they just right. can't do it right this is gonna be insane and it's gonna bring a lot of closure and possibly extend life you there, know and like just ways to yeah I, that is like one of the biggest hells yeah and we've talked about it before where everything is there. Like your brain is there, but yeah. you can't use any other part to communicate with the world that you exist in. Right, right. And how frustrating that would be to just wow. be trapped in that. Yeah, and, yeah. And this guy uh, was, and these guys, and these scientists took a chance, and uh, perfectly enough, and can relate. Ordered a beer. There is some. There is. A, I do. I do believe in that digital immortality, where it's like. I mean, to me, it's just not a matter of if; it's a matter of when. Oh yeah. At some point, they're going to have stuff like this so much more advanced that it's going to be able to like repair DNA. It's going to be able to like basically make you immortal. Nanobots. Yep. You'll be. You'll Let's be a pe peak health. Perfect vision, no disease. Mm -hmm. It'll just like you'll just have like you'll be like robotic. Things will just be able to like fix itself, pump through you, and yeah. kill all the things that aren't you. Man, it's crazy. You just keep it going. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. It was beer. I want a head massage, and I want to listen to Tool. <sighs> Fucking primal instincts, right there. Mm -hmm. Good, good <laughs> taste. I found something funny online that's keeping up with the theme of a guy that we've talked about quite a bit here on the show. Oh, let's do it. The internet has all sorts of neat things. Anything you want can be yours. Let's take a peek, together, as a couple. To you, from internet. Sent in by Dummy Aquan. <laughs> uh, Mike Tyson. Okay. Oh, who yeah. we've fallen in love with over the years. Mm -hmm. Is making pot oh, edibles funny. in the shape of a bitten ear. I think I, I saw... I didn't, read, <laughs> I didn't read this, but I saw something about that. That's so funny. And I can't find them being oh, actually for sale. I can't, so I don't know if it's a marketing ploy. Yeah. And then also Mike Holy Tyson ears. apparently was in a comedy club and some crazy dude pulled a gun on him like and said, Oh, somebody else doing that over the yeah. weekend, but I, but I forgot to look it up. Yeah, and that said, did happen, and huh? said something like, I just need you to raise my status, like in some weird, crazy, in, in the world, in the dictionary of crazy things. Holy that's that's shit. a good one. How did Mike handle it? Do you remember? He hugged him. Oh, man. <laughs> Fucking, he hugged him. Like that was it. Like he just said, you know, he is, he is such an interesting redemption story. Yeah, he, he didn't. I mean, he didn't get shot. He didn't get punched. Yeah. He just hugged the dude with the gun, and then that was it. So anyway, so that's a great story. And then you have edible ears that have a a bite taken out of them. Right. So I don't know if there's a bunch of marketing shit going on with, with Tyson. Like I always have that, but he didn't need it. Like people, yeah. he's already kind of. Uh, overcome some things in his past to kind of become a new teddy bear his story man it's like uh i i it might already be out i don't know if so anybody's but i mean it's still being written but someday there's going to be a biography done about him that is going to be insanely inspiring mm -hmm. uh because i know I, I do know just like you know where he yeah he 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 did not grow up with good role models there was nobody in his life that was like a good kind of guiding force you until he got into boxing you don't punch that hard with, right. a, with That's a, rage. a patty cake background. Yeah. And, th and then that first trainer coach, <laughs> I, I, I messed up all the terminology, but he was an older, older guy. And like, he loved that guy because that guy like uh, cared about him. It was mm -hmm. like the first time that somebody just didn't want to take advantage of him or, you know, like scam him in some way. Right. And uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he, he's had a, yeah, a really, really interesting life to look at. And if you have no idea what we're talking about, it was back in 1997 where Mike Tyson was fighting. I watched that fight Evander live. Evander Holyfield. And they got tied up, and he yeah. bit a chunk of his fucking ear off and yep. spit it on the mat. I watched that on pay per view. Mm -hmm. I remember with, I, with a bunch of buddies. I, I think I was too young. I was like twelve. I, was, so I, I don't was think in, I saw it. I was in college, and I remember being at a guy named Mark Steve's house, and we were all pumped up for this fight. Holy shit, what's gonna happen? And they were just all like, "Fucking what? Five hundred bucks on bites and ear? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it all down. Ah, <laughs> ah damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys had like which which ear? And you bet on the wrong one. <laughs> God damn it! We just couldn't believe. We just get, like as it happened, like up. wait, what? He just did what? 
Uh huh. Like as we're talking about the slap, the Will Smith Chris Rock slap, it was another one of those cultural moments of like, wait, what? <laughs> There's been a, how many boxing <laughs> matches on television? This is uh, this never happened before now, and he's just biting his ear and bit a chunk off. Yeah, and they were so just impressed by it, he was automatically given the title, I believe. For biting the ear off. Oh, yeah, right? you win. <laughs> right. That was when they discovered a little known fact that you do win your match <laughs> if the other guy chooses, chooses to be a bitch <laughs> and, and quits. Off. Oh, I got my ear bit off. <laughs> right. Okay, whiny pants. You're not, this is you're not champion. This you're is not boxing. champion. This isn't cooking. Yeah, this isn't fucking patty cake. This isn't a patty cake uh, <laughs> match. Right? This is, yeah. This isn't the grand patty- champion of patty cake. <laughs> <laughs> a patty cake convention? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Walking into that, fucking 50,000 people just. Oh my god. <laughs> and I mama said you were <gasps> uh, <laughs> hell. That would be uh, hell. Anyway, so I guess Tyson 2.0 is his his <laughs> marijuana company. He grows a bunch of it. I couldn't find <laughs> if they're actually on sale or not. Yeah. Um I couldn't find them, but there's yeah, the ears That's have little so bite funny. marks out of them. When you said so the, pat- it's whole thing. the patty cake convention, here's what would happen. Like if you walked into like a whole stadium of people and mama said that like, doing <laughs> the patty cake, I think that's when one of those people turns to you, you gotta wake up. <laughs> <It's> gas <laughs> You gotta wake up. There's a gas leak. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Gotta wake up. It's gas leak. <laughs> gonna die. Gotta wake up. <laughs> your bills are past boo- or your bills are past you and there's a gas Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> better wake up, better wake up. Better House is wake on fire, up. House is on fire. <laughs> gotta wake up. Gonna burn a guy. Gotta wake up. <laughs> set on fire. You're gonna burn a life. <laughs> <laughs> Don't smoke inside. There's a gas leak. <laughs> okay, moving on. We're gonna hear okay. from some of our listeners. Right. Let's roll it. It's Chuck Mail. Okay, so two pieces of junk mail today. Yeah. First one coming in from Dummy Raven, who writes, Hey, Dan and Joe. Hey, Raven. Hello. 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 I heard a story way back in one of the earlier episodes about people accidentally calling 911, and it brought up the time that I did this. This was back in, um, I talked about it with KXOY, my old job, Yeah. where the extension out, we had to push nine, and then all the numbers started with one. So I fucking, people would accidentally call 911 all the time. So anyway, I then heard another story a few episodes later and figured it was a sign. It was time for me to share mine. I'm not sure if I'm the best storyteller, but here it is. My boyfriend moved in with his parents a month before the pandemic to save money uh, for us to get a place. I was already living with my mom. So we take turns staying the night at each other's house during the week. One night while staying at his parents' house, we were having adult time late. Now, next to his bed was a stack of boxes where I kept my phone to charge. It was in between two boxes, and as the bed rocked, the boxes were hitting my phone. Out of nowhere, my phone made a siren-type noise, and we both jumped. I grabbed my phone quickly to silence it, and I just found out it was calling fucking 911. (laughs) Obviously, I ended that shit real quick, but maybe 10 seconds later, they called back to check on me. All I said is that it was an accident while trying not to laugh or sound out of breath. At this point, my boyfriend is completely done with adult time. That would just turn me on more. Yeah, the, the cops. It, t- it takes a lot to, uh, to ruin adult time for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm a criminal now. <laughs> uh, so if you've never tried rapidly pressing your iPhone's lock button five times, just don't. It works fine. Did you know you could do that? I In your pocket, don't if you think... push it a bunch, it'll call... It's like an emergency situation. If I did know that, I forgot. Mm-hmm. So five, five times? Yeah, you just push it. Uh, like huh. So if like you're, I don't know, being oh. tied up or you're in a situation where you can't get your phone out, yeah. through your pocket, you can push the button. That's so funny call that them having sex fucking triggered that 911 call. Fuck yeah, it did. You knew he lasted at least five pumps, which is good <laughs> right. for him. And they were quick pumps. They were quick. <laughs> he, was, he was going at it. Jack, and done. Jack Cameron. Yeah, they didn't say that he quit because of the phone call. They said he was done with adult time. So maybe yeah. he was just five pumps in. He was like, I'm done. Or maybe, yeah, maybe he can. And here's your prize. <laughs> anyway, sorry for the long email. Thanks for all the laughs. You're dumb creeper. Raven. Thanks, Raven. Love that. Uh, and then our second piece of junk mail is coming in from dummy Jonathan, who writes, Hello, my little tittles. Tittles. <laughs> <laughs> Let me start by saying that I've taken a considerable amount of mushies. At the moment. I'm guessing gummies? gummies? I don't know. Yeah, edibles, yeah. Okay, so I apologize if this doesn't make any sense. Anywho, I was listening to Blimp Jammer Cool Father Floppy Cord when I heard you bring up the annoying PCB, that little chirping... Oh, yes. Yes. Did you ever buy it? I do have a couple at the house. Okay. There hasn't a, there hasn't been a good time. I don't know. I thought about using it with Monroe, but then it's like, I don't know. She what, hates crickets anyway. Well, 
like I, I don't want to use it overnight because I, like I would feel bad yeah. if she's like uh, the next day she's like, well, I got one hour of sleep and I failed my math test. <laughs> what? Why? What happened? Oh, why? Cause, and then I'm like, oh, let's throw it away and just not talk about it. Wait, are the crickets? <laughs> she's like, what? What? I hear them too. I hear them too. Everyone hears them. I've been awake. Wake up. <laughs> uh, I was so delighted to be able to share uh, this tale with you guys. So I just recently left a job for a new position and had about mm. three months in my old position before I was released to my new job. While well, giving my notice wasn't well received, I was all but ostracized by the coworkers. So uh-huh. I decided that I wanted to leave them a little parting gift. So what do I stumble yep. upon? That feels like the, the perfect usage. Mm-hmm. The annoying PCB. Long story short, on my last day, I turned the annoying PCB to cricket setting and dropped it behind a large filing cabinet that will likely never be moved. I still smile every time I think about them, going crazier and crazier by the day, <laughs> wondering where the fuck the chirp is coming from. It's from me. The chirp is coming from me. <laughs> chirp, chirp, motherfuckers. <laughs> Thanks for making me laugh every week. And don't forget to check for shoes. Your dummy, Jonathan. God, where? Getting them back. Getting them back. Where would be a good place to put it? I just think like... There's so many... If you if you go I into... something you don't like. Yeah. But I mean, if you really start... You 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 think on... like You just kind of think about your space with mm-hmm. your head. But if you start walking around... Oh. There's but, some great spots. Like, so at work here. But, you, but but if you don't, yeah, here you can do it. But I'm saying like, like if you don't want to do it at your work. Oh, okay. Because you want to sabotage Another, somebody else's. So but there has to be a place that you go to. Hmm. Like, I'm thinking like maybe like a, a restaurant where you don't like, or. or you could uh, tape it under a table, but they'd probably find that. Probably find it. Go to the bathroom. Gas station. Bathroom. Bathroom would be one. Yeah, just someplace, of, or like, uh, like if someplace really was very rude to you. Just Flush it down the toilet and just piss off a couple of rats. <laughs> They'd be like, what the fuck? What the, what's the fuck? What cricket? the fuck? They, they're all circling around this one spot, like trying to just have some food. <laughs> <laughs> they just can't find the fucking cricket. Yeah, I don't know what you'd put it in, yeah. a, in someone else's business as you showed up. I mean, I guess you could put it like underneath someone's vehicle. Yeah, we so talk about auto repair. You can right. hide it in the dashboard. <laughs> right, right. Oh, yeah. man. I don't know. Think about it. Yeah. Prank. The prank continues. <laughs> we'll let you guys know. All right. Well, that's it for show 88. That's a fun, that's fun Side, time. Sideways cool sunglasses show. I don't know. Had a great time. Uh, hey, Logan. Yes, guys. Tell me, did you have fun out there? Always, guys. <laughs> nice. Got it. Uh, we got the new merch. We've got the wake up. There's a gas leak. <laughs> And we also have the score candy bar knockoff that says dumb. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, both available right now at iswedumb.com or at badmagicmerch.com. I uh, got the, you know, got everything online. If you want to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, just search for Is We Dumb. And then you can find the video versions of all the shows on YouTube. Just search for Bad Magic Productions. You can also go to Google. If you've never heard of Google, it's a search engine. It, it, the, the, the title of it looks a little goofy. Yeah. Like maybe it's for children, but it's not. It's for everybody, even adults. So go to Google and you type into Bad Magic Productions Mm -hmm. and that will bring up the video versions of the show. Perfect. What a goofy, silly name. I like how they still have like the the long O's. Remember that at the bottom where it said Google and then had a billion O's? No, I forgot. And you'd click on the O's that would skip out pages. No, it's just a dumb thing they did for a bit. Huh. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Well, I think for a while there, I was one of those weirdos that was like, I'm, I'm using Firefox. Alta Vista. Alta Vista Alta was Vista. a... Alta Vista? I don't remember that you one. You don't? Mm. No, it was, it was before Google. I had like, was it Mozilla, Firefox, and oh, like... Oh, those are browsers. Oh, those are browsers. Google has Chrome, but Chrome is a browser. Google is a search engine. Right. I'm try- there was other search engines, though, too. There was Ask Jeeves. Oh, man. There was Bing. Bing. I used Bing for a while. <laughs> Bing was there. Google. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think Alta Vista was the big one before... Before Google even existed, huh. way back in mid '90s, somebody has a Alta Vista mansion somewhere. It's all fucking dilapidated. <laughs> yeah, unless they just fucked it up, like MySpace. They right. Didn't get bought out. Just didn't do their oh. coding correctly and got fucked over. So what happened to no MySpace? Patents. Does that happen to MySpace? They just never got bought out. They just like just kind of dwindled. I think I I would think because they're still there. If they got bought out, well, it I wouldn't exist they're anymore. Still there. That's unbelievable yeah. that they're still there. Yeah, it's how shit. is MySpace still around? Uh, I don't know. It's not hmm. even MySpace anymore. What's his name? Tim? How's Tim doing? Yeah, how's Tim? The guy that always yeah, sits in your the desk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Always your first friend. Tom. Tom. It was Not Tom. Tim. With a white t-shirt. Yep. Yep. Sit next to a chalkboard kind of thing. Yeah, he was like, he was like, you, you, you always got one friend to start. Yeah, number one. Tom. Number one, baby. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, let's do a, a little joke on the back end of this show. Okay. Let's roll it. Hey, you want to hear a joke? Wow. Make that joke. Sent in by dummy Kyle. Kyle. <sighs> Listen, I didn't want to believe my dad was stealing from his job as a road worker. But when I got home, all the signs were there. <coughs> okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. It's clever. It's I clever. Pi- I picture <laughs> going home. Yeah. 
and you're like, I think your dad's stealing from work. And you're like, what? And like, he's been doing it for years and years and years. And he just, and you're like, what? And you kind of snap out of it and look around. <laughs> right. And you there's just fucking road signs. Just the walls everywhere. are covered. Everything is signs. <laughs> the table's made of speed limit signs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what? The whole time. Holy shit. <laughs> dad. <laughs> Sorry, son. Sorry, son. Someone's got to make a table. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Yes, we go. Magic Productions.